Welcome to our worship resources provided by the Lutheran Church of St. John. If you've been following these resources on a regular basis, you might notice a couple differences behind me today. We've gone from uh, white on the altar and banner to red, because today is a special day in the life of the church. Today is the day of Pentecost. On Pentecost, we celebrate the outpouring of God's Holy Spirit into the lives of his people. We'll read that, uh, that, that account in the book of Acts as part of our worship resources this morning. And the Holy Spirit is a precious gift from God, a gift which creates faith in our hearts and gives us the hope and confidence of our Lord Jesus Christ. It's the Holy Spirit that dwells within us, guiding and guarding and strengthening and blessing us by his presence. And so the Holy Spirit is truly a precious gift and one to be celebrated today on this day of Pentecost. The Holy Spirit is God himself dwelling within us. And that's why the Holy Spirit is connected to the name of God. Uh, and when we begin together in that name, in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Almighty God, merciful Father, you have made us your children through the work of our Lord Jesus Christ. And now you daily and richly give us new life through the gift of your Holy Spirit. Pour out your Holy Spirit on us again this day, filling our hearts with faith covering us with grace and growing in us the gifts of your spirit. Through your son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Our first scripture reading for the celebration of Pentecost comes from Acts chapter 2. It is the account of that first Pentecost. When the day of Pentecost came, they, that is the disciples, were all together in one place. Suddenly, a sound like the blowing of a violent wind came from heaven and filled the whole house they were sitting. They saw what seemed to be tongues of fire that separated and came to rest on each of them. And all of them were filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other languages as the Spirit enabled them. Now there were staying in Jerusalem, God-fearing Jews from every nation under heaven. When they heard this sound, a crowd came together in bewilderment because each one heard their own language being spoken. Utterly amazed, they asked, aren't all these who are speaking Galileans? Then how is it that each of us hears them in our native language? Parthians, Medes, and Elamites, residents of Mesopotamia, Judea, and Cappadocia, Pontus and Asia, Phrygia and Pamphylia, Egypt and the parts of Libya near Cyrene, visitors from Rome, both Jews and converts to Judaism, Cretans and Aram, Arabs. We hear them declaring the wonders of God in our own tongues. Amazed and perplexed, they asked one another, what does this mean? Some, however, made fun of them and said, they have had too much wine. Then Peter, one of the twelve, stood up, raised his voice, and addressed the crowd. Fellow Jews and all who live in Jerusalem, let me explain this to you. Listen carefully to what I say. These people are not drunk, as you suppose. It's only nine in the morning. No, this is what was spoken by the prophet Joel. In the last days, God says, I will pour out my spirit on my people. Your sons and daughters will prophesy. Your young men will see visions. Your old men will dream dreams. Even on my servants, both men and women, I will pour out my spirit in those days and they will prophesy. I will show wonders in the heavens above and signs on the earth below. Blood and fire and billows of smoke. The sun will be turned to darkness and the moon to blood before the coming of the great and glorious day of the Lord. 
and everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. This is the word of the Lord. The gospel that is appointed for the celebration of Pentecost comes from the gospel of John, the seventh chapter, beginning at verse 37. On the last and greatest day of the festival, Jesus stood and said in a loud voice, Let anyone who is thirsty come to me and drink. Whoever believes in me, as scripture has said, rivers of living water will flow from within them. By this, he meant the Spirit, whom those who believed in him were later to receive. Up to that time, the Spirit had not been given, since Jesus had not yet been glorified. This is the gospel of the Lord. <clears throat> 